There are many different ways in which you can boolean stuff in Blender using hardops and box cutter. The very basic one is going to be hardops tools. So if I shift D this cube and shift click on this mesh Q and difference, then I'm going to be using difference boolean. But we can use other booleans as well. So for example, if I add another cube as a cutter, shift click this mesh, go to Q menu and booleans, and then I can choose what I want to do with it. Now, one of other types of booleans, other than difference, union, slash, etc., is going to be a very interesting boolean that's called inside boolean, which is really cool. Because this one's going to allow you to adjust the solidification amount on this, on this boolean. So if you select this small cut here, then you go to solidify and you can adjust this solidification, which is pretty cool. So the inset boolean is composed out of two booleans. And you know that there are many other options in this tool, but uh, you get the idea. Now, next way of cutting would be, of course, using box cutter. So if you're going to enable box cutter, I can simply by default run a cube cut, right, or box cut. And if you go to D menu, you can change it to a circle, and gone and different types of booleans. And you have tons of other options, including adding these dots, which will allow you to draw cuts, you know, very precisely in the middle or from corners, from faces, etc. Now, both of these types of booleans, so box cutter and hard ops, allow you to recover cutters on demand. So if I had two, for example, cutters running on this mesh or even three, I can go to Q menu and go to ever scroll and I can scroll through these cutters. And when I scroll to a cutter, I want to adjust and click then I can change the type of the cutter on the fly. So if I go to Q menu and then shift bool, I can shift between different types of booleans, which is really, really convenient, okay? Awesome. Now, next way of cutting mesh are hidden in the hardops menu. And if you want to dive deeper into hardops and box cutter, and let me tell you, there's a lot of stuff to learn because these menus and these add-ons have tons of menus and tools and they have different menus in object mode, different menus in, you know, edit mode, it's all changing. So it's a lot of stuff to cover. And we have a fantastic course for it, which is called the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter, which contains 22 hours of content. And don't get scared because it covers everything. You don't have to go through everything. But the point is here that it simply covers everything. So if you really wanted to learn how these add-ons work and you wanted to learn it from just one single source, then this is the best source of knowledge for these two add-ons simply because the documentation is outdated and you will not find any video on the internet even on my channel which has like 170 videos devoted to hard ups and box cutter that's going to cover everything okay so grab the course the link is in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video now going back to uh, other types of booleans so watch this if i'm going to select these two faces right I can convert them to a boolean. So for example, if I have a, I don't know, a face like this and I wanted to change it to a boolean or these two faces, then I go to Q menu, I go to mesh tools and selection to boolean. If you click that, you can adjust this boolean here and by pressing H, you can reveal other options that you have available with that boolean. You click, then you can adjust it. You can even press A to swap it to outside. You can, you know, uh, create a solidification, sort of like a paneling boolean. The difference is that this boolean is going to be attached to the mesh. So if you run a bevel, you know, this is going to be a part of the mesh. Okay, cool. So that's another way of doing this. Now, there's one more really interesting way of cutting it. That's very unique to hard ups, and you cannot do this in vanilla blender no matter what. So let me show you if I cut this mesh here, right? And I do not apply the boolean, right? These faces here are not really real geometry because, you know, this is not real mesh. The real mesh is still a cube, right? So these faces here inside are procedural because this boolean is procedural. So technically, it's impossible to use some of these faces to drive cutters, but with hard ups, you can. So the way you do it with hard ups is you simply select the mesh, go to Q menu and go to mesh tools and then go to face extract. Now you can select faces you want to extract and let's select these three, okay? And you can see that we have this red reddish color on faces, which means um, you know that we're gonna be using difference boolean by default. But again, you got the H menu here. 
you can open and see what kind of other options you have available with this tool. Now, when you press space, you're going to activate it and you can now move your mouse and, you know, run a boolean, click. And if you're going to move the mouse again, you're going to be either, you know, cutting in, press A, or solidifying inside. So technically, you're cutting the cutter, right, with, uh, with this boolean. So normally, if you wanted to do this in Vanilla Blender, you would need to grab the cutter, right? You would need to run loops on the cutter. And then basically, you know, grab these faces here, right? So let me just grab them. And then run Altium macro inside. So Q and Altium macro inside. This is the only way to do this, right? So you have to alter the cutter. So what this tool does, it allows you to run a Boolean without recovering the cutter and altering the cutter itself. Because this cutter here, right? is still intact this one so what i can do now watch this i can actually scale it a little bit in so shift d and scale it a little bit in right i can solidify it okay and watch this i can cut this mesh difference boom see what i mean so it gives you a lot of creative ways of cutting and this is one of my favorite tools for hard ups and it is seriously incredible uh, you know the algorithm behind it but you could do some really crazy stuff man you know what i mean so, you know, go creative and have fun. So this will be the, you know, four ways of uh, cutting mesh that I'll be using uh, with hard ups and box cutter. So again, just a regular, you know, hard ups tool, then box cutter and these two tools from hard ups, which are phenomenal. Now, again, if you wanted to learn more about these add-ons and you really wanted to, you know, build the proper workflow, that's going to save you 800% of your time. Yes, you heard it right. It's really that fast. Then grab our course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0. It's one of our best selling courses and it's for a good reason, because it's again, the only complete source of knowledge on these add-ons on the market. And we've been using these add-ons for over six years. So we know them inside out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.